Hey, welcome back to your favorite technical math class. We're going to take a look at percents today, which is a ratio of second terms of 100. So percent means parts per 100, per cent, per 100, per cent. So 25% just means 25 per 100. All right, 25% means 25 per 100. 25%, all right, which of course can be written as a decimal. 25 hundredths is 0.25. So 75% would be 0.75. Let's go ahead and convert a few to a decimal. So 17% means 17 hundredths. Or if you punch that into your calculator, 17 divided by 100, you get 0.17, right? In other words, it's actually, if you want to think about it, it's kind of like moving it to the left too because you're dividing it by 100, right? So 3% means 3 one hundredths or 0.03, 3 one hundredths. We're trying to write these as a decimal. One fifth percent you know one fifth maybe you want to uh, punch that in and you get you know one divided by five is 0.2 so this is like 0.2 percent 0 0.2 per cent per hundred so if you divide that 0 0.2 what it's going to do it's going to move that to the left two all right so you end up getting 0 0.002 253 per cent per hundred. You divide 253 divided by 100. Again, it moves it left to because it's dividing by 100. So 253 per cent is 2.53. So I like to remember that whenever I'm converting percents to a decimal, I'm dividing by 100. In other words, I'm moving the decimal left to. If I have a percent, I'm changing it to a decimal. All right, let's look at uh, taking a percent now and just changing it to a rational number. So 20% uh, means 20 per 100, right? 20%. Well, if we think about that, we've got to reduce this to lowest terms. So right now it is a fraction, um, but 20 is 2 times 10. 100 is 10 times 10. Notice the 10s cancel. So now we got 2 over 10. But we can go even further with that. 2 tenths is 1 fifth. So 1 fifth is 20% and is written as a rational number, right? 85%. So that'd be 85 one hundredths. Well, 85 is 5 times 17. I know 100 is 5 times 20. So it looks like 85% is the same as 17 over 20. All right, let's take a, a number now and let's change it to a percent. So 0.3 to a percent. So you're going to multiply by 100. 0.3, or I'm going to write as 0.30. See how that's 0.30 is 31 hundredths. That's 30 percent. All right. So if you want to think about it as 0.30, you're moving it to the right two to become 30 percent. 0.08. If you read that, that's eight one hundredths or 8%. Again, the 0.08, right to, and you got 8%. 0 0.713, now this one's a little bit trickier, right? That's 713 thousandths, but we want it in terms of hundreds. So we, we can, again, multiply by hundreds, the easiest thing to do. You're gonna move that right to decimal places. So that's 71.3% if I multiply that by 100. 
6.2. I'm going to move that right to that 620%. 6.2 is the same as 620%. 22 out of 40, if I if I go ahead and punch in 22 out of 40, that's what I would do on this one, is I would write, oops, 22 out of 40, I'd punch that in, or you could do it by hand, right? You could go ahead and 22 divided by 40, and the decimal's right there. Uh, 40 doesn't go into 22, but it goes into 220. Five times that's 200. Bring down the zero and five times 40 is 200. There's no remainder decimal goes straight up, so it's 0.55. So 22 over 40 is 0.55. And again, we want to write this as a decimal. So I'm going to move it times it by 100, so that's 55 percent. If I move that decimal right twice and multiply it by. 100. So again, the way I, I remember these is when you're taking a number and you're converting it to a percent, you're, you're multiplying by 100. And then you throw on that percent sign. All right, let's do some simple percent problems. These come from um, A, the amount is equal to the percent times uh, B, which is the base. All right, and what I like to do is I like to just take the uh, statement and, and convert it to a uh, algebraic equation. So here it says what number, what number, so I'm going to let that be A, I'll let it be A. What number is, is means equals 20%, now convert that 20%, that's as a decimal. So convert that to a decimal, 0 0.20. What number is 0 0.20 of, of means multiply of 225. What number is 20% of multiply 225. And now we just got to solve for A, the amount. So I go ahead and bring up my calculator and punch in 0.2 times 225, and I get 45. So the number is 45. Let's do another one. What number, we'll let it be A, is... 10%. Again, make sure you're working. When you're working with des with percentages, you want to make sure when you're mathematically working with them that you have them written as a decimal before you work with them mathematically. So 10% is 0 0.10 of multiply times 388. So 0 0.1 times 388, punch that in, and you get 38.8. All right, a little bit different one. 30 is, 30 is what percent? So I'm going to let that be P of 150. Now let's go ahead and solve for P. So this becomes P equals 30 over 150 or 1 fifth. And we know one fifth to be 0.2, but it says uh, what what percent on this or 0 0.20. So what percent is that? Well, that's 20% because we got to convert that times by 100. Convert that to a percentage. So 30 is 20% of 150. 30 is 100 is 20% of 150. Let's do this next one here, 165. 165 is what percent of times 110? And we solve for P. Let's go ahead and solve for P. P equals, and I go ahead and punch in 165 divided by 110. I get 1.5. But remember, I gotta move, I gotta write this as a percent. I got 150%. So 165 is 150% of 110. Because if you think about 110, right? 100% 100 of 110 is 110, right? It's the full amount. 100% 100 of 110 is 110. So 165 has got to be more than 100%, right? We know it's 150%. 150% of 110 is 
165 is 150% of 110. All right, so 60 is 30% of what number? 60 is 30%, so I'm going to convert that to a decimal, 30% of times what number? But now we solve for B. So let's divide by 0.3 on both sides. And I've got B ends up being 60 divided by 0.3, which gives you 200. So in other words, 60 is 30% of 200. 60 is 30% of 200. Let's do this last one here. 9 is 13%. Convert it to a decimal of what number? 9 is equals 13% of multiply 0.13 times B. Go ahead and solve for B. So we have B ends up being 9 divided by 0.13. Uh, let's see, it gives us 69.23. Oops, 23076923. Let's round that to uh, two decimal places 69.23. All right, let's look at a couple applications now. You got an automobile cooling system. It has a capacity of six gallons of fluid. Uh, but 40% of this cooling system has to be antifreeze. So how many gallons of antifreeze should be used? Well, the amount should be 40% of the six gallons. So I punch in 0.4 times the six. And I get the amount I need. I need 2.4 gallons of antifreeze. After eating in a restaurant, you decide to leave an 18% tip. The total bill is $25. How much are you leaving for a tip? So we're wanting 18% of 25 bucks of our bill, right? 18% is a decimal of multiply $25. And I go ahead and pull up my calculator. I punch in 0.18 times 25. And I get $4, 4 4.5 or 450. So there's my tip. I should leave a tip of 450. All right, that's a little bit on percents. Get you going. Appreciate you watching. Take a note. See you next time.